guys, what's going on? Keisha J here, and I'm super excited that you guys are here with me today. If you're new to this channel, here we do DIY home decor videos. Yes, if that's something you can get into, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way, every time I upload a video, you'll be notified. If you've been here, and you've been rocking with your girl for a minute, What's up? You the best, you the baddest, and don't let anyone tell you anything different, okay? Period. I'm so excited about today's video. We're gonna be doing a little wild art, a little string wild art. I've done this on my channel before. I'll pop an info card here so you can take a look at that just in case you missed it. But today we're gonna be doing something slightly different. So if that's something you can get into, just keep watching. I'm about to All right guys, so to start out, we're going to go to our local Home Depot and purchase some of their wood trim. And then we're gonna cut it down to the size that we desire our wall piece to be. I did mine's eight, I did one 18 inches and the other 20 inches. So two pieces I'm gonna be cutting down to 18 and the other two down to 20. Once we have the trim cut down to size, using our Folk Art Rich Black Chalk Plank, we're gonna go in and we're gonna paint these black. I did water the chalk paint down a little bit because as you know, it comes a little thick. So in order just to thin it out, you wanna spray just a little water in it and it should be thin enough for you to paint and spread evenly. So after you've painted and allowed to dry, then you wanna go ahead and start on your yarn. I want my yarn to be six foot long. The only reason I chose it to be six foot is because the height of the wall that I wanna place these on. So I'm going to take my, I'm gonna take my yardstick and then I'm gonna measure the yarn six feet. So if you want your six feet, you can use the same exact technique. So, I'm going to place the yarn against the yardstick. And I don't want to pull it like this. I wanna make sure the yarn is relaxed against the yardstick. So, you measure out your first three feet, and without cutting it, you want to take down the yarn again and measure out another three feet. Once you have that, and if you like, you can give yourself about an inch to two inch leeway. Once you have that, then you wanna cut it. So when you cut it, you're gonna be left with six feet worth of yarn. Now, there is three ways that you can go about putting the yarn on the, on the wood trim. You could either, if you want, so for example, if I fold this in half, this is going to be three feet. Mine's is gonna be six feet long, so I won't fold mine's. But if I were to fold it, it'll make it three feet. And so if I wanted mine's to be three feet, and I, I could loop it around here, and I can pull my working string through the loop and pull that tight, and that's the way that I could do it, or, if I didn't wanna loop it that way, I could take the loop here and then I could still hot glue it down here and just paste a little dab of hot glue on it. Or what you can do is you can cut the loop and then glue. Because I want to keep mine six feet long, I'm just going to take the end of my string and glue it here. And that's it. So if you wanted to do the loop technique, you would just double the length of your string. So if you wanted to do the loop technique and you wanted your um, 
your string to be six feet long, you would cut a 12 foot long string, if that makes sense. Okay, so we're gonna, first I'm gonna cut all my string and then I'm gonna come back and then I'm going to uh, glue my string on my work, on my trim wood piece. And also keep in mind, because the hot glue dries so quickly, you want to make sure that you're working in small sections. Now moving to our 18 inch wall art, you glue these string pieces on the same exact way. So remember at the beginning where we cut two of the wood trim pieces down to the same exact size? This is where the second one comes in at. Once you have all your string glued down, the second piece, the second wood piece is going to be glued to the top of this using E6000 glue. Once you have that glued on top, you want to add clamps if you have them. If no clamps, you can add some heavy books to the top and allow it to dry fully and then we'll move on to hanging it and cutting it. So once you have these hung and you have them cut down to size, then it's time to decorate. Okay, yes, these are so beautiful. These will go anywhere in your home, in your living room, in your dining room, in your home office, in your bedroom, wherever you decide to put them, they will be beautiful there, I'm sure of it. Now moving along to project number two. We are still doing string wild art. Project number two is gonna be a little bit different is that we're gonna dip it and we're gonna dye it, but we're not gonna be using your traditional dye. Here you can see me just looping the yarn around using the Lark's head knot to loop the yarn around the wooden dowel. So after I got all my string around the wooden dowel, I kind of pushed it all to the center of the wooden dowel just to kind of give it a more fuller look. And the first technique I tried to do to dye this is the T technique. I set my string in the T for hours and hours and hours and hours. And after that, this is how it turned out. Needless to say, that was the epic fail. So after um, that, I tried to use chalk paint. I went with this fu uh, Fusion Mineral Bayberry color chalk paint. And what I did was um, using one part uh, water. So I'd say it's about a cup of water. And I'll say about, uh, I don't know, about one fourth cup of paint. And then I just soaked my string inside it for maybe, I did mine overnight but it doesn't take that long. Um, I would say you could do it for about maybe three to four hours so that um, 
the string could get fully saturated with that color. Here I'm just showing you how I hung this up in my kitchen to dye. I do recommend that you do find a place to hang it up while it's soaking in the dye. Once you've allowed the string to sit in the dye solution, you want to take it over to your sink or wherever you can, or whatever you have, your sink, your tub, and you want to squeeze it out. You don't want to rinse it, you just want to squeeze it. You want to squeeze as much of the dye solution out as possible, and then you hang it somewhere outside or in your home to dry. looks after it's completely dried. I really 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 like the way these ends look but I decided to go ahead and cut mine um, but I really uh, like the way this look the raw edges of this I think just looks beautiful but I decided to cut mine and this is how it looks cut. This turned out great. I really really love this project. I think I want to do a few more dip dye projects on my channel. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. All right, guys, so tell me what you think about this project in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hey, guys, if you're watching this, that means you've made it to the end of this video. Yes, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. If you really like this video, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way, every time I upload a video, you'll be notified. Also, there'll be some more videos over here that you can watch. If you hadn't seen those, what you waiting for? Go ahead and click that button. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.